the next gen folding phones that are insane, awesome, and cool. Every time Samsung announces any big event, they always come up with some really new and productive technology and innovation. So this time, again, they did the same thing. Smart folding phone with a larger display which will allow you to do multiple tasks at once in a single window without closing other running applications. Smart and adaptive screen technology will automatically adjust your task as per your work. But wait, what are these new and cool phones launched by Samsung? How good are they? And what to expect next? Hello everyone and welcome back to TechZen. Today we are talking about some of the coolest and most exciting folding phones right now. Are you ready to know them? So without delaying any further, let's get started. And before that, please make sure you hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any new updates from our channel. After a long time, there is a phone that has people like us, the enthusiasts, wondering if the folding form factor is the future. And certainly, I feel that there's a lot of potential in this device, but also I feel there are a lot of missed opportunities. Coming to the good, the Fold is a device from Samsung not to sell in numbers, but it is merely an expression of Samsung's capability as a tech company. So let's talk about some of the best foldable phones of this year. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 is designed to persuade you to buy foldable phones when it comes to shopping for the destiny of foldable phones, and without a Galaxy Note 21, there may be a whole lot of stress on Samsung to make suitable that adage. We've been intently comparing its acquainted 2-in-1 design and decided to fold and spread the 7.6-inch Bendy show till we may want to do it in our sleep as a way to, well, take a look at its durability. The result? This model of Samsung's foldable smartphone feels more potent than its predecessors. It's waterproof this time, even as its mini pill size internal display withstood our meanest stylus strokes with a brand new S Pen and S Pen Pro. S Pen helps make the best feel on a display of this size, and it changed into something that we've been clamoring for with the primary folds. There's greater writing and drawing on here than any Galaxy Note smartphone, but now no longer so large that it's inconvenient, like a full-size conventional pill that must be stowed in a bag. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 may be closed half of and fixed in a pocket. It may also nicely extrude the manner you operate your smartphone day to day, especially in case you spring for the S Pen and a case to hold it in. Unfortunately, the stylus is brought one by one and doesn't tuck in the smartphone. The inconvenience could be jarring to longtime Note fans, although we observe the brand new stylus larger and less complicated to apply than the Note's toothpick sized S Pen. You'll want to dial again your digital Digicam expectations, that is, but any other foldable with cameras that can be suitable. However, the lack of zoom in oomph of the Samsung Galaxy S21 and Final Year's Note 20 Ultra. There is one standout cam perk, an under-the-display digital cam that well obviates the want for a punch hollow with a greater seamless internal show, despite the fact that the 4MP camera's first-rate loss is noticeable. The large hook to the Galaxy Fold 3 is its barely inexpensive rate as compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now, if we have said about Galaxy Z Fold 2, then let's see its features. The triple camera setup. Why 12 megapixel f1.8 plus the Tele 12 megapixel f2.4 two times optical zoom with a 12 MP f2.2 front camera cover display. 19.27 centimeters or 7.6 inches, the dynamic AMO LED 2X Infinity O display with a QXGA Plus multi touch capacitive touchscreen with 2208 by 1768 pixels resolution, 373 PPI pixel density, and 16M color support. That's a lot to offer. The Android V11 operating system with a 1.8 gigahertz plus 2.4 gigahertz plus 3.09 gigahertz Qualcomm. The SM8250 2AB octa-core processor, which is one of the fastest processors available in the market. The memory storage in SIM is 12GB RAM, 128GB internal memory expandable, dual SIM, nano plus nano, dual standby, 4G plus 4G. It comes with a 4500 MAH lithium ion battery fast charge and 25 watt type C fast charger in the box. One year manufacturer warranty for device and six months manufacturer warranty for the inbox accessories, including the batteries from the date of purchase. It's been packed with a fast face unlock and fingerprint sensor, dual SIM, SIM One Plus embedded SIM with dual standby and dual Volti LET dedicated SIM slot. 
The box also includes earphones that are USB type C with sound by AKG, replacement earbud tips, a power adapter, ejection pin, Z Premier Service leaflet, and a quick start guide. It is the successor to the Samsung Galaxy Fold, fixing its shortcomings and expanding on its design features. The Z Fold 2 is an any foldable with an external display for basic tasks and an interior full display that's exposed when unfolded flat. The next phone which comes on our list is the Huawei Mate X's. The Huawei Mate XS is Huawei's successor to the Huawei Mate X, and it is an upgrade in a number of ways, leading to a more durable device that also has the identical excellent core design because the original Mate X. Unfortunately, it doesn't include Google apps and services, meaning the Android 10 experience won't get Google upgrades and enhancements, nor does the device have access to standbys like Google Maps. Given that, the Huawei Mate XS maintains a really impressive device and is a wonderful execution of the foldable concept. It's an Audi foldable with only one external screen that's either unfolded flat for an 8-inch tablet display or folded closed for a 6.6-inch format. It's also powerful with a high-end Kirin 990 chipset, 8GB of RAM, 512GB of storage, a quad-lens camera led by a 40-megapixel main sensor, and a 4500mAh battery, and a classy, notch-free design. Of course, all of this comes at a high price, with the Huawei Mate XS retailing for about $2,750, though it can often now be found for a touch less. Being a Huawei device, there's unsurprisingly also no U.S. availability and no access to Google Apps on the horizon unless both companies come to a surprise agreement. But you'll be able to still find it online unlocked. And at last, we have the Samsung Galaxy Fold, which has been renamed the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold. It dazzled us during the Samsung Galaxy S10 launch in February 19, but the Globe had to attend until April for the South Korean manufacturer allowed the primary members of the media to urge hands-on with the device. Initial impressions were good, despite a high tag. The slick interface and large 7.3-inch unfolded screen were impressive. We had the primary mainstream foldable in our hands, and it was absolutely stunning. But even as the Galaxy Fold's April 2019 U.S. release date neared, a variety of review units malfunctioned, which led Samsung to delay the Galaxy Fold. Some refinements later, and the device finally launched to the general public later within the year, and it's still a good device over a year later. The phone specs include both a 4.6-inch HD Plus Super AMO LED screen on the front and a foldable 7.3-inch QHD Dynamic AMO LED display on the within, essentially letting you utilize the device as both a phone and tablet. That external screen seems limited compared to the edge-to-edge -edge display on the surface of the Z Fold 2, but the initial Fold screen continues to be useful for normal tasks. The device supports 3-app multitasking and allows you to seamlessly move from one screen to the opposite, with whatever content you are viewing switching between them as you open or close the larger display. It has a 4,380mAh battery, 12GB of RAM, 512GB of storage, and a high-end Snapdragon 855 chipset. As for cameras, the Galaxy Fold is 6. The biggest advantage of a foldable phone is that you can enjoy a large screen while taking up less room in your pocket. And on the other hand, you can shoot even better images than ever before with a folding phone. Incredible photography is possible because of the large screen. Your selfies will have a higher resolution as well as a nicer appearance. It's a little difficult to see what you're doing, but it shouldn't stop you from shooting fantastic photographs. Modern foldable smartphones is an excellent phone owing to their rich features and pocket-friendly price. So for now, I'm leaving it up to you guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button, share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel where you'll see even more of our incredible videos. Have a great day!